Hi, this is going to be a quick tutorial on uh, setting up Keep It Simple Slicer uh, along with the Qubit post processing program uh, to create print files for your CubeX, Cube Duo, and Cube Trio printer. Uh, so, you want to go to the uh, Keep It Simple Slicer.com website and download uh, the zip file with uh, Keep It Simple Slicer as well as locating the CubeX thread in the forum area and find the, the most current version of Qubit. Once you have those two uh, pieces of software downloaded, you can go ahead and unzip them to a directory. A uh, quick side note, I did not develop either uh, of these pieces of software. This is just a quick and, and uh, general setup uh, allowing you to get uh, the post-processing software set up to work within Keep It Simple Slicer. I uh, highly recommend that before you do any type of test printing, you read through the uh, forum, uh, especially the Cubex thread, and make sure that you fully understand how to uh, do, uh, do the uh, calibration for your machine uh, along with the material that you're uh, going to be using. Uh, so once you have your files unzipped, uh, your directory should look pretty much like this with the exception of the bed cubex STL file which you can uh, copy over from your cubex uh, folder in the 3D systems directory uh, that comes with the cubex software. Um, this will basically allow you to import the, the bed profile into Keep It Simple and what that'll do is allow you to locate your print on the print bed. Uh, the print objects folder I've created just to store STL files and is by no means uh, mandatory. So once you've gone ahead and uh, loaded everything into your folder, you're going to want to go ahead and execute uh, the application for Keep It Simple Slicer. Uh, once you've done that, you're going to want to go ahead and go to the Printer tab. You're going to want to select the Cubex printer, select your number of extruders, uh, set the bed center to negative 35, and then locate the STL bed Cubex STL file and load that. Now that it's loaded, it should be centered on the grid and you should be uh, done with this particular tab. Now, you, next thing you're going to want to do is go to the firmware tab, select bits for bytes, and the file extension should say BFB. Uh, you're going to also want to enter the qubit.exe file um, into the post process uh, line. What that's going to do is execute qubit uh, once you go to save your uh, sliced file. Now that you're done with that, you're going to want to go to the G-Code tab, enter in uh, this information in the prefix, this information in the select extruder, and this information in the deselect extruder, as well as this information into the postfix file. All of these, all this information can be found in the Cubex uh, thread uh, in the uh, Keep It Simple Slicer forum. Uh, so once you've done that, uh, essentially in order to create the file, you're going to want to go ahead and click open. You're going to want to go ahead and find a file to print. Uh, you'll want to orient it on the bed. And then, uh, of course, you can you know, slide the uh, slider controls around to move the print on the bed. Uh, once you're done with that, uh, you essentially hit slice. It will uh, create the G-code for the, the particular print and then you get, go ahead and click save and then that will save the file to you know whatever location uh, your flash drive or whatever and uh, run the qubit post processing uh, which will put the correct headers into the the file uh, allowing you to print on your cube x cube duo or cube trio printer uh, i very highly recommend uh, you know again reading through the forum and understanding all of these individual settings before you try to do any prints uh, hopefully this has been helpful and uh, have a good day.